And today I'm going to introduce Juan. Juan uh, is long time corporate career and real estate, and now into real estate investing. But I'll let Juan introduce himself. Uh, Juan, kind of give you a bio, a little bit of a bio where you are. You have a long corporate history, of, well, of course, but I don't know if you want to get into all those details, but at least some of it and what you do now. Thank you, Raju. Thank you. Thank you. It is an honor to be uh, with you uh, this afternoon. And yes, um, in a nutshell, yes, I am a, an attorney by trade. Um, I am licensed to practice law in Mexico. I am in Mexico, although I am a real estate investor in Texas. So I am investing um, in multifamily. I'm syndicating and we also have a fund in the United States. And I've been involved in real estate for over three decades now. Um, I started in one of the world's largest uh, law firms, Baker and McKenzie. And for the first 10 years of my career, I actually did uh, a lot of commercial transactions, financial work, as well as real estate um, for very large uh, Fortune 500 companies investing in Mexico and just doing cross-border trade. So I have that background. Um, and then I also worked in-house where I worked on uh, many financial deals, uh, some straightforward, some more com uh, complex deals, uh, some involved with securities, uh, some uh, syndicated loans. So I've been involved in, in finance and real estate for a large part of my career. Now, uh, today I'm focusing my real estate investment in basically multifamily syndication and our real estate fund where we have uh, both debt investing and equity investing as well as self-storage. We're, we're also doing some self-storage self deals. Got your that, that, that is in a nutshell, yes. Got, got you. Awesome. Yeah, so that's a diversified portfolio. Uh, obviously, a lot of different things going on there. So, you know, obviously, you can help a lot of different kind of people with that or you, uh, probably good connections. So, you know, who can you help and who can you, you know, who would you like to connect? Well, yes, uh, thank you for asking that. I, I, I'd love to connect with like-minded people. I mean, we, we had a conversation, you and I, and immediately connected, right? Uh, we talked about family, we talked about work, we talked about, you know, life and, and our position at our age, where we stand in respect to what we want to accomplish in life. So, yes, I like to connect with like minded individuals on the real estate side. I love to connect connect with uh, investors, uh, both passive and active investors uh, with uh, just uh, those who are beginning in real estate. I love to be able to help and teach teach the basics or at least, uh, you know, transfer knowledge um, of wh wherever I can, you know, uh, contribute uh, my grain of salt. I'd love to do that. Um, it's not um, a coincidence that uh, within our fund, I am actually the one who talks to the new uh, investors who get onboarded and go through the process of investing and trying to be able to fit our uh, financial products with their goals. So uh, first, I love to learn uh, um, about people and what their goals are and then how to fit whatever uh, deal we have available to those goals. And if we don't, we don't. And, uh, you know, but still, there's always an opportunity to meet uh, uh, new new people, network, and, uh, you know, learn and contribute. So that's that's a, a big uh, uh, plus for me. Awesome. Yeah, no, like like uh, Juan said, yeah, I mean, we, we talked a lot about philosophy and personal development anyway. So we like talked a lot more about that than real estate, actually, when we met. So I can attest to that. Uh, great, uh, you know, person to connect with, uh, plus, like you said, he has different categories. We explained in the intro, uh, which can you know you know help short term, long term, whatever you know. And so it depends on what you want to do. And that, like Juan is saying, like 
that's what he's, he's going to figure out with you and then see you know any of his products work with you if not that's fine so i'll be posting all his info whatever info i have the website whatever i have i want and then you know uh, you can reach out to him obviously in linkedin or wherever i post i'll be posting his connection link so you can reach out to him all right on so obviously you have a long real estate career but you also have a long you know law corporate career um so what now inspires you to get up and do what you do every day well as always it my my true why is my family really my my daughters um i i love to uh yes uh create generational wealth but also you know leave a legacy and i think our time in this world is well spent if we leave a legacy or you know leave our stamp and a positive one uh in our path you know um, um in the time that we're here so yeah the why is my family my wife and my and my daughters and um everything that i'm doing now and then why i get up every day is you know works uh, you know it's just to work towards that leaving a legacy but also what really helps and we we talked about this is when you build certain habits uh morning a morning routine a morning ritual it's easier to get up in the morning even if you're tired you know because you've got that you know little habit to look forward to so right. in my case we discussed this uh you and i discussed about meditation in my case i do uh, uh, some praying uh you know have water uh, journal read and uh, uh, hopefully uh, more more often than not uh, do some exercise whether that's walking or just doing a little bit of uh, anaerobic exercise but yeah that helps uh, you know getting up in the morning even if in those tough days that you don't feel you know your best that's an excellent point. I want. I, that could be a tip, but anyway, that's we'll move on to. Maybe you, you will give a different tip, but sure. no, I attest to that. You know, I agree completely. Want you know, Benny was saying like, yeah, that's very true. I didn't think about it that way, but that is very true. You know, I have a morning routine. Yeah, it makes me get up even when I don't feel like it because I have a routine to stick to. <laughs> um, exactly. Awesome one. So yeah, I guess yeah. Let's get into the tip. You know, obviously you had a successful career, lawyer, corporate, and real estate, all this other stuff. So obviously you, you might have a lot of tips and tricks you've learned, and but you got to share one that has helped you a lot that can help others. Okay, well, my tip um, today would be, yes, uh, you know, uh, first and foremost, uh, uh, I would say, write down your goals, write down your goals and then develop habits around those goals. Mm -hmm. Okay, develop habits around those goals and then just get up and work on that routine, on those habits and uh, you'll get a great start in the morning. That, that would be uh, just my tip for today. Awesome, yeah, no, that's an excellent point. You know, we're, you know having the goals and plus reminding yourself of those and what what Juan said, that's excellent. There's, uh, you know, it's also behaving towards the. I mean, making yourself be the person achieving those goals, which is included in that what Juan was saying. Anyway, thanks for the tip, uh, Juan, and thanks for taking the time to come on the, you know, uh, this recording. And like I said, I'll be sharing all the info that I have of Juan. So please feel to reach out to him and see, uh, you know, either networking wise or maybe investing wise or whatever, you know, it can help you. So thanks again, Juan. Thank you, Raju. Yes, you're very welcome. Yes.